All right, so I'm going to show you how you can format your external hard drive so it'll work on a Windows computer as well as a MacBook. So I'm on my Mac computer here. First thing you want to do is go down here to Finder. Make sure your external hard drive is plugged in. And you can see under Devices here, I have Seagate right here. Now if I just click on this down here and I go to Get Info, I can clearly see that this hard drive is uh, has a file system with Mac OS extended. However, if you have a new hard drive, it's probably going to be formatted in NTFS where basically only uh, Windows uh, can write to it. Okay, The Mac machines or the MacBooks will only be able to read it. They won't be able to write to it. Okay, So first thing to do is go up to the magnifying glass in the top right hand corner and then type in this utility. Enter. And then look under external here. You can see I have Seagate. There's two of them here. Basically go to the top one. Um, I mean, uh, it depends whatever name. You might have like a Western Digital or WD. Just look under external, and then you just see your external hard drive here. I have a Seagate here. You can see this one is uh, two terabytes. And so there's two of them. Again, go to the first one here. And this is the external physical disk. Go up here where it says erase. And then uh, name it whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to name mine uh, Seagate. And then we have some several options down here. Okay, we have if uh, this this video is for, um, so we can go over different platforms from Windows to a Mac. Okay, I personally always use XFAT because I use Windows and a, uh, Apple computers. But there's two of them here. Okay, you have MS-DOS, which is basically a FAT32, if you guys remember the DOS days. And then we have a newer file system called XFAT. Now, what is the difference between these? Okay, let me go over this uh, really quickly. MS-DOS FAT or FAT32 is basically not only can you move files between like a Apple computer as well as a Windows, but also Linux. You're also able to transfer files um, uh, to like uh, transfer files between like gaming systems like the PS, um, PS3, Xbox 360, uh, Wii, etc. However, there is a limitation to this that you cannot transfer files that are more than four gigabytes, okay? And right there for me, that's a no-no. With the XFAT, you can go above the four gigabytes. And I mean, come on, four gigabytes ain't nothing these days. People are recording in 1080p, 60 frames per second. You have 4K video. People are putting movies on their, um, on their external hard drive. Anyways, for you, it's between these two. I would recommend just go with the XFAT. If you're going to ever, ever going to be using more than a um, four gigabyte file. And right here, and this is fine, the default here, this GUID partition map. And then we can do from here is click on erase. Give us a second. We're okay. Now it says, uh, do you want to uh, uh, back up a time machine? I'm going to click on don't use, but you can decide later if you want, or you can use it as a backup disk. Um, I, I don't use it. And I'm going to click on done here. And now I am done. And now what I can do now is if I click on fi finder down here, go to my Seagate external drive. Let me go to get info. And then we can see I now have X fat and I can transfer files back and forth between my Windows and my Apple. No problem. Any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.